command grabs, you know, grabs, grabs, really good versus Snake. So, this will be an interesting set. Ghidra with the most recent win, and the only one at that. But, you know, I wouldn't count Gamubi out. Actually, was it the other way around? No, I'm not sure. Got Ghidra rocking the Outcast hoodie. I love that. Yeah, this is what we this is what I'm talking about here. We put this revenge. At the same time though, you know, I did say all that about Incineroar, but Snake's Ooh, that pivot grab. This guy is moving and he's on ice. But yeah, Snake is Snake. He's got that strong of ice snake can kill early. A lot of it's gonna I think a lot of this is gonna be determined about how Ghidra can play around this this revenge really. Cause he, Incineroar is gonna get revenge in this matchup, right? I think that's an inevitability. It can't be avoided. But can it be counterplayed? We see Ghidra there with a nice little ledge trap taking the first stock with punishing that. Ooh, the movement. He's walking back and forth. Oh, you don't know where he's going. Into the grab, converting off that down throw, surprising him with the C4. Man, this is some great gameplay from Ghidra right now. But the panic. Wow, we see Gamubi, you know, dash dancing on stage, just pressuring him, finding the whiff punish on that. Spot dodge with that F tilt. Getting an early kill with that revenge. That's what he needs really to make the difference in this matchup. You know, get these revenge plays. Ghidra here put betting everything, putting all his chips into covering neutral get up there, but not gonna find it. Instead, just getting hit by his own grenades. And a nice little block string. Down throw into down tilt. I've never seen that before. And up tilt also gonna anti-air there. Just catch that landing. Classic snake stuff. I'm really liking this snake gameplay actually. Very clean. Can we be the you know we 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 see him slow down a little bit. He's not trying to he's not trying to lose just yet. Getting caught with this C4 again, you know, this is what Snake's good at. Just catching you moving with that C4 and grenade. And the uh, percentage has been lapped. Kamubi's, you know, you guys he's got one life left and it's uh, it's not looking good. Ghidra getting caught by that Tomahawk side B. A nice little mix-up. Ooh, the, the, the tricks right now. <laughs> really trying to flex what he's practiced in training mode, but not going to pay off. Oh my god, that was risky. I'm trying to bet it all. Ghidra just waiting. The patience. Gamubi not knowing what to do, perhaps waiting for a panic option, but not going to be given it. A nice conversion with that Ned into Laria. He's at 71. He's at 85. Matter of fact, he's at kill percent. You know, we've just seen Gamubi take over this game one. And with that four there, going deep with his double jump, betting it all really. You know, if that missed, he could have lost that game. Going to secure that game one from the depths of the, his, his final stock. Honestly, that was very impressive stuff from Gamubi there. Keeping it composed, you know, keeping calm. You know, clearly he's an Incineroar main. He's been there before. You've got that high percent. Your opponent's shook. And, um making the most of it. Stage bans going to be coming out from Gamubi. Have to see if we get a little uh, change of pace in this next match, you know, if uh, we want to switch things up a little bit. Nope, just running it straight back to small battlefield. Ghidra, I suppose, thinking, you know, I was winning for most of that first game. I don't see why I can't do that again. You know, feeling comfortable enough in that. Right. Three, two, one, go. Oh, just the instant retaliation there from Gamubi. And uh, with these players, you know, again, it's just a snake thing. The start of the match is so important. Who's going to get this first stock? Because as soon as you start having to trade, you know, as Snake or versus Snake, it's, it's quite tough. I definitely also would say that Incineroar has much greater comeback factor than Snake does. So it's more the pressure on Ghidra. Catching that get up attack. You know, he get up attacked at the start of the game. Perhaps showing some evolution here in his gameplay right now. Again, getting killed in the C4. These stray C4s have been putting in work for Ghidra, honestly. I think a movie needs to be paying attention to where these explosions are coming from because he's just getting hit by every single one. Catching that overconfident grenade there, but oh, gonna get hit by the next one. Ghidra, you know, having the awareness, 
combo it into the C4. Rack up a nice 63.0% of extra credit. Does Ruby wanting that conversion? Not gonna find it though. You know, Incineroar, he's a, he's a slow guy. Getting over there with that dash grab is not gonna be as easy as it looks. The setup's just coming out from Bijo right now. Just situation after situation where Ruby's life's getting put in peril. Oh my god, look at that advice state. He gets the four there, you know, he has frame advantage. He's just, he's hovering with the, the baiting dashes, finding that Alolan whip. Also with punishing that dash attack, you know, we see Ghidra shaking his head in the player cam, you know, he could be getting a bit frustrated. But with punish on that up tilt, again, shaking his head, he's trying to secure this dub, you know, he's not, he doesn't want to overcomplicate things. Snake is eight, popped it off the rule. Nice little corner pressure here. Some patience coming out from both players, but Ghidra just giving up stage control right now. Gamubi approaching step by step. I really like that. You know, we see Ghidra playing in a way that's trying to bait a, you know, kind of impatient approach and Gamubi just walking up slowly to capitalize. And an instant, you know, get up there, giant hitbox. Incineroar's up air is a crazy good move. Honestly, if that move was on the top tier, you would see complaining about it on the timeline because it it's a disgusting move, genuinely just um, stuck on this mid-tier, so yeah, you don't see it as often. Now Gamubi, ooh, a really confident call out there. You know, Ghidra nodding his head this time, regained his confidence right now, evening up the game count, 1-1. One, one. And um, I guess we're gonna see a change of stage now. I don't know where to, but that was some really nice gameplay there. You know, that platform pressure with the up tilt, catching onto Gamubi's habits covering that jump with the double jump up here. You know, we see the confidence coming out from both these players when they're in their moments, uh, showing what they're made of. Now, I think we might have actually ran it back to SBF. I wasn't, I wasn't paying attention, but that looked like it. The, the cursor didn't move much. I don't know, but we'll see. The blue Incineroar coming out. Back to SBF. We're on to... Who's Blue Incineral? I have no idea. Don't even know who the previous one was. I wanted to say one of them was Garfield, but neither of them are the Garfield skin, so. DIing in on that down throw, you're gonna eat an up egg ladder. And Gamubi with an early lead here. Ooh, wow, he wanted that. Getting in there, F tilt instead, you know, frame trapping him. Character like Snake, you know, his airspeed, not the best. He really needs his air acceleration as well. So he really needs those B reverses. When he's just air dodging down like that, you can follow that drift because he can't mix it up that much. Just Gija, the evasion right now. Reversing at the corner with that F tilt, just trying to keep mixing it up. He, you know, Incineroar has revenge. He is terrified. But a nice air to air from Gamubi here. Gonna... Again, this is just the story of this set, man. Honestly, these, these C4s are just controlling this set. He's getting most of his kills with them in situations where it's not even a pressure situation. He's just finding a C4. Gamubi really needs to stop getting hit by these C4s if he wants to win this match. You know, winner of this gets to advance to winner's cause is a pretty, pretty big set for both players. So you don't want to, you know, you'd much rather get that guaranteed knight than go to losers. Now, both players, two stocks apiece. We see again the C4 coming out. A nice little block string with that grenade toss, mixing up the number of hits on shield. And Ghidra is just running away with the second stock right now. Gets reversed out the corner. Perhaps Gumubi wants to put an end to this. And he has him in the corner again. Snake, what will you do? What can you do? Dash attack Nikita. Nikita is such a fantastic tool at edge guarding people going out there, especially if they don't really have the the hitboxes to you know disable it for a half for a half second. Which some characters can do. Cinderella perhaps not able to do that. Being shown here. Wow, Gidra pulling out this grenade tech. I don't know what's going on, but converting off that nade, like a movie. Maybe we're seeing a bit of impatience here. The landing error out of disadvantage. Oh, now. The percentage has been lapped. This is looking great for Gitra, but he just runs off stage, bro. Where are you going? Gamubi holding center. And an unfortunate SD from Gitra. Gamubi, Gamubi smiling a bit. Maybe he thinks this is his time. Can he get a nice comeback? Armors through the Nikita. That was risky. 
dodging these grenades. It's a war zone right now. The delayed get up attack. Bet it all. And he tries to read the instant C4, but Ghidra with the patience. Waiting out the revenge and gonna secure that set 2 1 as he advances to winner's quarters. That was a good set. Um, yeah. I feel like, you know, both players had their moments, had some nice, some nice strings. In neutral, had a lot of mix ups as well. I was quite impressed with. Some nice, nice, nice gameplay for winners round two at a local, you know, pretty, pretty nice stuff. Pretty nice stuff. Don't know what set we're going to get next on stream.